all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching game of thrones season four episode six episode six dude every time i try and move this goddamn mic this thing just falls off it's this fucking demon's fault right here <laughs> just kidding i love her um She has my sock, but whatever. All right. So in the last episode of Game of, in the last episode of Game of Thrones, Danny got 93 ships, and they estimated the ships can carry about 9,300 people on them. Okay, but she's gonna take a slight pause on her conquest to go back to Young Kai and Astapor, because you know Young Kai, the masters took it back over, and Cleon took over Astapor. So, and she's like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna be a queen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rule, dude. I'm gonna do what a queen does and rule this shit. So, she, so, she's probably gonna go back, clean that shit up again, make sure they, you know, they can't take it over. It's hers for good. So, and it turns out the Lannisters are actually broke as shit. Their banks ran out, or no, 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 no. Their coal mines ran out three years ago. So, they've kind of just been borrowing money and so that's why he they really need this relationship with the tyrells to work out so they can use their resources and shit and so that's why if i heard it right if i heard it right tywin and cersei approved the marriage between tommen and marge like that got approved i'm pretty sure i heard that right you know, like, I, dude, honestly, though, I, I can't ever be too sure with this show. Like, I, I think I hear something, and then it's the whole opposite. So, that's just what I thought I heard. So, if that's wrong, I guess we'll find out. But, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to get married now. But, yeah, and then at the end of the episode, our boy, no, not our boy, Locke, got murdered by Bran slash Hodor. You know, because Bran warged in the Hodor, and then ran up on Locke, because... Locke basically kidnapped Bran and was taking him. And then he, uh, Bran warged in the hoarder, grabbed Locke by the neck, and just <laughs> broke his fucking neck. So that was nice to see. That was really nice to see. And then it's like, it's kind of sucks because Bran, he saw John with his own eyes. And that was probably like, okay, I don't know the exact time frame that has from episode one till now. Like, I don't know how many like years have passed technically. I'm gonna say three i'm gonna say like three and a half years because three and three seasons you know this could very well be the last time bran ever gets to see john this could be his last opportunity to see him and this is technically the last family bran really has besides sansa and Arya. You, you never know okay this could be this could be bran's last time he ever gets to see john the last opportunity he gets to see john but what makes it what makes it tough is Jojen told Bran, he's like, look, he's like, look, if you see John right now, he's not going to let you go. He's not going to let you go where we need to go. Okay. And he's probably right. You know, John's going to try and protect him, bring him back to Castle Black with the Night's Watch. But no, Bran is on a mission. He has to find the Three-Eyed Raven. You know, so Bran had the, oh my God, my jacket just fell. Bran had to let that go and just keep pushing so like that that's really tough like knowing this show this is probably the last time or last opportunity bran will ever get to see john one of them is probably gonna die before they ever get a chance to see each other again wouldn't be surprised at all would not be surprised whatsoever so you know and then like kind of thinking about it like Dude, I really hope Jojen is not just gonna fuck us over so bad. Like, I have a, like, knowing this show, he could. He very well could. You know? But, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't think he is. But, I, he might, like, dude, I, it just gets me thinking, well, there's a possibility he could. Because anything can happen in this show. So, it's like, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's very unlikely but it's still a possibility you know so oh wait no i take that back actually that's just another hollywood trope so my bad my fucking bad okay we're just gonna start this episode if you want to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes will also be on patreon so let's start this episode yeah i'm not allowed to say hollywood tropes you guys have roasted me in the comments for suggesting any hollywood trope when it comes to this show so it's 
Stannis. Are you gonna go get this fucking army or what? That's a big ass statue. How long did that take the fucking build? No cranes or anything. Just fucking ladders. And fucking pickaxes like they got carved out of marble. Okay, and this is probably the Iron Banks of Bravos, because he wrote the letter to them last time we saw him. Welcome to the Iron Bank. It is. King of the Angles and the First Man, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. He doesn't give a fuck. He is a bastard, born of incest, as was his brother before him. Yes. Okay, so Tommen's also Jamie's son. Jamie and Cersei. How many fighting men remain loyal to you? 4,000. <laughs> Respectfully decline your request. Rejected. Despise her, Jamie Lannister, a man best known for killing the king he was sworn to protect. He had to. Okay. All right. We don't know. He doesn't know that. The lookout sees a pirate ship. Probably got rejected again. It was a good effort. Maybe. I don't know. Kill it someplace. We. You. Me. We. He's like, you think I'm fucking going anywhere right now? <laughs> oh, that changed his mind. You won't be alone, and you won't be poor. Oh, I guess they did get the loan. I guess that that suggests that they got the loan. So. Give you until the full moon. To oh, let's go with Yara. Okay, I want to see what. Yeah, I'm excited about this storyline. Living, the way I slayed the twenty ironborn scum I found at Winterfell. In the box, you'll find a special oh, She's getting them hyped up. Follow with more Theon. Given her army a motive to come and get Theon. As long as they can hurt our prince with impunity, the word Iron Born means nothing. Exactly. Come on, Yara. Uh, uh, Damn, you're choking the shit out of Ramsey right now. Uh, oh, yes. I'm here for Theon. You're dead. You don't know? You're dead. He's not in the dungeons. Yeah. Oh, he did know. Fuck you. Lied. Oh, he's with the dogs. Dude, he's gonna. Lost cage in the right. Thank you. Fuck. <gasps> yeah. Dude. Oh no, the bells. No. <laughs> Theon's gonna be tripping. He's not gonna. Theon's not gonna want to leave because he's just so fucking traumatized. Oh. Yeah. Yara. You can't trick me. Yeah. Tell him you couldn't trick me. I'm not tricking you, Theon. I'm saving you. No, Theon. No. No, you can't. Right. You're Dude, he's in fucking brainwashed. It's like, I, he's so scared he doesn't want to leave because he thinks it's just another trick. This is turning into a lovely evening. Look, if Ramsay dies, I'll be so happy, please. As long as Jar and Theon make it, I'm fine. <laughs> I was Ramsey just waxing everyone. Please, Yara, no. Okay, okay. Bigger balls than he ever did. Alright. Ramsey versus Yara? I got Yara. Come on. Oh, uh, he's gonna let the dogs out. How fast can you run? Ah, come on. Take the ship now. We got proven. Fuck. We'll come back. My brother's dead. What? Wow. I mean, he's so like brainwashed. It's like, yeah, he's not Theon anymore. I didn't want them to take me. <laughs> I was so- Remove those racks. 
Now, Dude, look how scared he is just to even take a bath. Like, he doesn't trust Ramsey. I mean, I wouldn't either, but... Dude, oh my god. I mean, that's that's what they're trying to do with the show right now, though. It's like... Do you love me, Rick? Show us how much tension there is between them. To pretend to be someone you're not. Pretend to be who? Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> stop, bro. Just stop, Ramsey. Just stop. How the fuck are you gonna stop that? If that's attacking your city, how the fuck are you gonna stop that? In three of them. Oh, thanks, buddy. Th thanks. That goat skeleton? It was your dragons, he says. Oh, oh. They came this morning for his flock. Oh. But I will see he has paid their value. Three times over. Okay, that's pretty. I'd say that's pretty fair. Is he walking backwards? Father, one of Mirian's most respected and beloved citizens. For that, he has my gratitude. I should be honored to meet him. You have your grace. You crucified him. Ooh. He was a master, huh? My father spoke out against crucifying those children. He decried it as a criminal act, but was overruled. Bury your father. Okay, yeah, see that that's kind of tough because not every single master was bad, you know, like this guy's father He tried he was against all of that, but he got overruled, you know That's so like yeah, she kind of just acted and killed them all like that But yeah, like not all of them were bad. How many more? So there are 212 supplicants waiting your grace. So it's like 200 and 212? Holy fuck. You wanna do this shit? In the Riverlands, my lord. A coward and a traitor. Ah, no, no, Let's no. Just tell me the hound slaughtered five of our soldiers. The fuck yeah, he did. I believe the phrase fuck the king was up. Hell yeah. You just warned those chickens, bro. Fuck with the hound. Ten silver stacks seems a generous bounty. Ten Make it a hundred. Hundred silver stacks? What else? It's advising her. Jorah Mormont and Barristan Sel. Hell yeah. And she has three dragons. Hell yeah. Baby dragon. No, no. Larger every year, yep. your grace paid it. He's an old man. He wasn't fit to protect my son. Joffrey didn't die on his watch. Exactly. Dismissing him was as insulting as it was stupid. Thank you. And tell me you're worried about- Tywin has respect. I mean, Tywin does respect people. Like, he can- he can give respect pretty easily. That's not- that's not a problem for him. I've seen the Unsullied firsthand. They are very impressive on the battlefield. Less so in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm not actually a noble man. No one is under obligation to call me lord. And yet everyone does. Hmm. <laughs> He's... I have respect for everyone. <laughs> That's the kind of shrug you give him. Desire leaves one free to pursue other things. Gives you focus, no distractions. Hmm. To serve the the realms, we know that. What does he want to get on the throne himself, or serve the throne or something? That was kind of a sus nod, you know. By the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? Nope. No. Did your wife, the Lady Sansa? Nope. Not on him. He slapped the king across the face and called him a vicious idiot. Bro, that was like ten years ago. Not the king. That was like. It's like two years ago. Joffrey, right here in this throne room, he marched up those steps and called our king a half. Yeah, because he was fucking beating the shit out of Sansa or threatened to have me killed. Oh, why don't you tell them what Joffrey was yeah. doing? Throwing a loaded crossbow at Sansa Stark while you tore out her clothes and beat her. Silence! Yeah. Dismiss, Sir Merrin. Fuck, Sir Merrin, dude. Fuck you. By the accused, Tyrion Lannister, after he had me wrongfully in prison. Uh to strike down the most noble child the gods ever put on this good earth. Shut up. Listen, Java is not noble at all. I'm sure that's what he meant. As it turned out, when the attack came, Joff insisted on remaining at the battlements. He, 
believed his presence would inspire the troops. Sav. What's death? He didn't seem gladdened by the news. Perhaps his marriage to Sansa Stark had made him more sympathetic to the Northern cause. Um, dude, oh my god. You said the histories would never mention me, but you would not forget Yeah. Sadly, my lord, I never forget a thing. <sighs> yeah, it's also true. I guess Lord Varys is like, he didn't like that Tyrion either. Dude, everyone was just against him right there. Like, everyone's making him look horrible. Let's get the full context of all this, these stories, though. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where'd Jamie go? What's he doing? Well, it's a farce. Cersei has manipulated everything, you know. Mm -hmm. I know nothing of the sort. I've always hated Tyrion. He killed his king. As did I. Ooh, yeah. I saved your life so you could murder my brother. It won't be murder, it'll be justice. Just not justice. It survives through me. Yeah. I'll leave the king's god. I'll take my place as your son and heir if you let Tyrion live. Done. Oh. Okay. Comes to speak. He'll plead for mercy. I'll allow him to join the Night's Watch. Uh, uh, dude, no, not the Night's Watch. Depart for Castle no. Black and live out his days of the. You have my word, and you have mine. Okay, so it seems like Tywin already came to the conclusion, or he was already really considering sending Tyrion to the Night's Watch because, like, dude, he came up with that fast as shit. You know, it's not like he just came up with that on spot. I mean, he could have, but. I guess he really wanted Jamie to, you know, carry on the family line and leave the fucking, the Kingsguard. I'll spare your life and allow you to join the Night's Watch. Ned Stark was promised the same thing. Yeah. Do you trust me? He has to. To Shay, swear to God. <laughs> to swear to God, it's Shay. Ah, uh, Shay. Dude, do not fuck over Tyrion, please. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. What the fuck? He and Sansa planned what together. What the fuck? She's this pissed? She wanted revenge for her father, her mother. Wow, Shay. Blamed their deaths on the king. Tyrion was happy to. Wow. He hated Joffrey. He hated the queen. Fuck Shay. He hated you, my lord. What the fuck is wrong? Dude, she's this fucking mad that he dumped her? He, he tried- Ah, uh, God. How could you possibly know all this? Yeah. Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? Yeah. Come on, Aubrey, and save him. I want you to fuck me like it's my last- <laughs> Ro Ro Shay, what are you doing? Shay. She's this hurt. Silence! <sighs> and did you? Did I what? <laughs> Fuck him like it was his last night in this world. Yeah, Oberyn wants to know that. I would wait in his chambers for hours so he could use me when he was bored. He ordered me to call him my lion, so I did. Please don't. Yeah. I am a whore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember? Dude, he did that to you, but... So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. <gasps> Father, I wish to confess. Wow. I wish to confess. I saved you. I saved the city. Yeah. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Yeah. This bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying horses. Yeah. For the whole pack of you, I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow this great. So I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand trial by combat. No! Who, oh my god. Who? Who is he gonna fight? Or is he gonna have someone fight for him again? Have Jamie fight? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you have Ron fight for him. But all right, all right. Well, that was 
Season 4, Episode 6. That ending was fucking nice right there. Like, oh, love it. Love it. Alright, so we just had Tyrion's trial. And, dude, come on. Everyone fucked him over so hard right there. No one was vouching for him. Everyone was like, nah, he fucking did it. Fuck this guy. It's like, dude, what the f I mean, I didn't expect anyone to really vouch for him. But, like, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> So, and, like, dude, come on, Shay. Like, she's Shay is just that hurt by it that she's willing to have, like, have him killed. Like, I get what he did was very hurtful. Don't get me wrong. It was extremely hurtful. But he did it to save her life. And that was, like, the only thing that was probably going to get through to her. But now it just bit him in the ass because she was like, yeah, he did it all. It's like, ah, fuck, that's fucking tough. Okay. But then he was like, I want to try. Okay, when he was like, I'd like to confess... Like, I, I didn't think he was going to confess, like, actually killing Joffrey, because there's no way. You know, then he said trial by combat, because that's how he got off the last trial back in season one, when he had Braun fight for him. So, maybe that's just his, like, last, cho his last option of desperation to get out of this. He's like, that worked last time, I'm doing this. I'm doing it again. Now, okay, it's, I, okay, I'll, I'll find out when I watch the next episode, but... Or whenever this trial by combat happens but right now i'm wondering is jamie eligible to fight for wait no wait that's right jamie's hand no <laughs> jamie jamie can't even fight for him jamie can't even fight for him that's right totally forgot I totally forgot jamie can't jamie is gonna get waxed ah oh, that's fucking tough okay so if, even if Jamie is eligible, no, he I wouldn't. You can't choose him. So I guess it's Braun again, who has to fight for him. But then it's like, okay, who's he gonna fight? Sir Marin or something like that? You know, one of the King's Guards, probably Sir Marin, honestly. So if it's Braun and Sir Marin, I really hope Braun makes it out. I really hope Braun wins that. If if that does end up happening, so I'm really excited for the next episode, honestly. Okay, and so going back to the beginning of the episode, though, so Stannis had only 32 ships and 4,000 men left over, and I, okay, I'm assuming they did get the loan, because he went to the, because Sir, yeah, Sir Devos went to the, uh, the pirate with all that, with all that gold or whatever to go get him, so it's okay, I guess I, they're just, uh, suggesting that they got the loan and it got approved, so it worked, I guess, so... Okay, and then Yara went to go and save Theon, but then she just saw how, like, brainwashed he is, and he's like, Theon, the Theon I know is dead. He is gone. We have to get out of here. So, like, that kind of sucks, honestly. Like, that, that really sucks. Like, dude, I feel so bad for Theon, dude. He's so just brainwashed and, like, so scared. Like, <sighs> Okay, well, then Ramsay was like, okay, I need you to do something. We're going to go take over this castle. I need you to be someone you're not. And that's Theon Greyjoy, right? And that's just, like, more fucking brainwashing of, like, him just disassociating himself from Theon, who he is. But he's just, like, Ramsay's just manipulating him to disassociate himself as much as he can with who he used to be because he's a reek now. So, like, god damn it, Ramsey. I fucking hate Ramsey. <laughs> like, now that Joffrey is finally dead, I really hope, like, dude, Ramsey's probably my most, like, who I hate the most now. Like, he's definitely, yeah, Ramsey's definitely the person I hate the most now. <laughs> now, in their council meeting, Tywin did acknowledge, okay, yeah, Daenerys is kind of. She's kind of building her. She's building her bread up. She's building her army up. Okay. Okay. Kind of did. Okay. So he kind of just acknowledged it. And he's like, okay, she has to be dealt with. So, you know. Okay. Okay. At least he's aware. And then. So they. Okay. So they got word from the hound that they saw the hound out or whatever in the lands. And they're like, yeah, fuck that guy. Oh my god. And they're like, okay, I'm putting a hundred silver on this wolf's head. So now there's a bounty on the hound. So really hope my boy makes it a little bit longer. I don't know. If Tyrion, if he wins the trial by combat, if he technically wins, is he still being sent to the Night's Watch? 
or what like i don't know i get we'll find out we'll find out whatever okay well anyways that was season four episode six of game of thrones what do you guys think about this episode down below in the comments i really like this episode this is probably a top 10 favorite episode for me so far and if you like the video i like the video and thanks for watching